Heyo, duckies, Andy here. And we at StreamUp have created a new tool for all you streamer bot users out there. This one, well, have you just never get sick of having to look at your log file and you have to open the notepad, have a look at, like, see what it goes, refresh it and everything like that? Well, Silverlink has created a nice little thing that will automatically open up your log file and let you live read it all the time. It's so good. It's so simple and it's completely free. So you just jump to the StreamUp website, which is just here, um, and you can see it's called livestreamer.bot.log, and you just hit download. That's it's simple. It'll take you to our Kofi page, which you can leave us a tip to help us keep making all these tools for you and everything like that, and press get now. You will then get a link to redirect you to my.streamup.tips, okay? Because we're, we're currently in a transition period of moving from Kofi, potentially, and moving to our own system. So, yeah, you just need to create an account just here uh, with the same email address you have used for Kofi when you are downloading it. So installing it is super easy. We just need to open up Streamerbot and hit the import button in the top left. And it'll bring this import string section up just here and then navigate to your download. And you should have a folder that says one bot install, go to Streamerbot and drag and drop it in there. If you can't drag and drop it, just open it up in just notepad and it's a bunch of letters. Select all with control A, control C to copy and then you can paste it directly into this box as well. It should have two little things on it and a queue. You just press import, and when you go to actions, you should find them just in here. So we've got live.streamer.botlog, and we've got the update checker as well, in case we add any more features to it later on. So the live.streamerbot.log, select it, go up to triggers, and press test trigger. As if by magic. Boom. Just like so, we have now got the live streamer bot log in there. Sometimes it might take a second to load or something like that, but this genuinely is live. If I go and change the login mode by going to settings, general, and change this to information, you'll see changing login level to information. So you're seeing a live feed of your log file, which is really, really nice. This is great for if you're making stuff inside of StreamerBot and you want to know what's going on with your variables, you can just see it all in real time. What I would recommend though is go back to actions and create a new trigger on the live streamer bot log uh, and have it set to core and set to streamer bot started. If you do that, basically anytime streamer bot starts, it will automatically run this program and get it loaded up for you. I find it so useful. If you found it useful, make sure you do like the video, share it with a streamer bot friend and all that jazz, all right? Make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss any future things that I make or put out there or, you know, all the videos, all that jazz, all right? I'll see you in the next one. Put your rock over the stone.